so in this video we'll learn how to add a ROS into a gazebo plugin okay so basically what we are going to do the model plugin that we have created last time that's going to have a raw subscriber that will subscribe to a raw topic and based on the data received on that our model will move up okay so we'll be publishing that from our terminal and based on the data that's coming on that data will be based it will be a boolean data so based on the message received on is true or false our model is going to move up and down so to write a raw a gazebo plugin there are two methods We'll firstly discuss the simple method in this video and we'll discuss the advanced method in the next video, okay? So this simple method is basically based on simple publisher and subscriber C++ example in the official documentation. So that's very simple and we are going to use that same function in our plugin. Now see over here what I have done is uh, earlier we had this model plugin now I just made a copy of it and it is now ROS plugin why I did like this so that you won't get confused over here so this model plugin ROS is basically the copy of this it's just that we are going to add ROS part of over here so the code is also same just the naming and things have changed so I have opened it in visual studio code now you can see this simple world as well this is exactly the same as the model plugin okay just I have changed the name and simple simple thing this this is also same okay and the remake is also same now the important part over here is the coding how we have added the ROS part to it firstly what is similar let me show you the, all those things from this every part is similar to the last that you have seen if you haven't seen the video please do check this out otherwise you may get confused because in this video I particularly will be focusing on how to add the ROS subscriber to it okay now if you see we have added some extra data on this private data members so what are this this is the node handler that you know from the ROS and there is one more for subscribing to the subscriber okay now I have defined one more activate moves that will be storing the data that's coming from the callback okay now let's look at how the ROS part is added on so in this load simply we have just inherited the model plugin to our model okay now from that load comes in you already know the model and hdf comes in but the important part over here is this area where this ROS is being checked if it is initialized or not we'll first check if ROS is initialized or not if ROS is not initialized then we'll stop over here only if it's initialized then we'll move ahead now as we are going to use this ROS so we have to include two extra libraries from the previous ones this is the ROS 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 library that you know from C++ adding publisher and subscriber and this message that I am going to use this is going to be standard message that's there in documentation so this is what I am going to use that I included that message okay now this will return and if it sees that okay the ROS is now initialized then it will print on a terminal that model plugin loaded okay from up till this is simple now comes over here this is also very simple line this is just what it is doing it's subscribing this is a raw subscriber okay so this is subscribing to a topic and this is the name of the topic model move up and this is the query size so it will wait till 10 messages are rated after that it will start removing the old message that's the meaning of the query okay now I have passed this our model member function that is this member function with this pointer so this is passed as a reference and this is there so that it can point to this activate callback so this is exactly the same logic that we have used over here on update okay so same logic is being used over here as well so this is the same thing I've already explained to you in quite depth now this subscribing and this is that private member okay now this is NH that we have already declared on the node handle now this part is here from here to here it's just the previous model plugin part so you already know this so no need of explanation on this so if you do not understand this then please do watch the previous video on model plugins now the important thing comes over here 
एक्टिवेट कॉल बैक इज देयर तो वॉट मैसेज इज रिसीविंग इट्स रिसीविंग ए बुलियन मैसेज ओके सो दिस मैसेज इज डिफाइन ऑन दिस डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो गिवेन द लिंक ऑफ इट यू कैन ओपन इट फ्रॉम हियर और यू कैन जस्ट गूगल इट यू विल गेट इट नाउ दिस इज हैविंग कॉन्स्टेंट सो दैट द मैसेज दैट इज कमिंग ऑन दैट कैन नॉट बी चेंज दैट कैन नॉट बी अल्टर्ड एंड दिस इज हैविंग अ कॉन्स्टेंट पॉइंटर सो दैट वी कैन पास इट एज ए रेफरेंस एंड वी नीड अ लेस मेमोरी एज वेल एज इट्स इजी टू एक्सेस दिस यूजिंग द पॉइंटर जस्ट पॉइंटिंग टू इट ओके सो यू माइट बी नोइंग दिस पार्ट एज वेल फ्रॉम द रॉस सो सी दिस इज कम्प्लीटली द सेम थिंग दैट यू डू ऑन अ रॉस सब्सक्राइबर सी प्लस प्लस पार्ट दिस इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम यू डिस्क्राइब सब्सक्राइबर एंड देन ऑन द कॉल बैक यू राइट द मैसेजेस एंड यू जस्ट एक्सेस द मैसेज नाउ दिस वॉट मैसेज दिस इज हैविंग यू गो ऑन दिस वॉट मैसेज दिस इज हैविंग दिस इज जस्ट हैविंग डाटा that why we are just accessing the data part of this message using the pointer now whenever this message is received this ros info is going to print it on this converting it into a integer okay so this is a boolean so if two true comes then it will be one if zero comes then it will be false now this message is stored on this activate move okay so now what is going to happen over here is also very simple so what i have done over here is whenever this message get is true okay then earlier that we have done on on update that part is going to get activated okay and if this message doesn't get activate if we do not receive on the ros message value as true then this this part won't work okay now once this part activated till till it's having 1000 count then it will apply force on the model to move it upward okay but if it counts more than 1000 then what is going to happen is going to reset all the values and it is going to make it false as well this value as false as well as the count as zero so that we can wait for the next time when we receive on the ros message the true value so that this process can again start and it will again move up this will again start then this gets true then this will again start counting it till it is less than 10000 okay now this will apply the force so this this is cyclic process that keep on repeating i hope that you understood this this are all from the previous model plugin this all i have already told you now we have just registered our plugin now let's run this you have to open this link to run this even if you know the ros launch file which are the right to launch file then you can launch it i have already built my plugin i'm just going to launch it so right now we are using the simple ros model plugin and you can see the what i told you right now is a simple ros model plugin in the next video we are going to discuss this model ros plugin so little bit have a check on the name as well so this is quite simple that's why i named it simple. okay so right now we'll be launching that let me launch this Now see over here this ROS model plugin loaded, so that means that we have got the ROS initialized, and that's why this is printing. Then these other two things that is printing on the terminal are directly from the previous video. Okay, so no need to explain over here. Now this our model is activated. Now let's print publish on this topic topic list. to see the topics so you can see this topic okay now let's first topic so oh, so see right now it's not having a no oh, none is publishing at this this is a standard message boolean that we have describing who is subscribing to this gazebo is subscribing to this right now let's publish on this message so we'll publish on this message copy this this line of code let's paste it over here so we are publishing ros top Pick and minus one is there because we will be publishing just for once on this topic and this is data type and we have made it true so it should go up when we publish let's publish it will publish for three second and then it will automatic stop and now our model is going up till it count ten thousand and this iteration will not match because right now the count and iteration are different so once this one thousand count is over it went down now let's publish it once again now you also see that it is going to again move up 
and once the 10,000 count gets over it is again going to come back and all the values that we have defined on this is going to get reset it so that's why when we again publishing on this topic then again this process start let me do it once again as many time as you publish it is going to start this process again it is going to move our model up see how easy it is right how easy to just you know the concept of raw subscriber and you just added things on this plugin and your model is working so this is very simple right using this we are able to publish subscribe to a raw small uh, topic okay but in next video we are going to little bit discuss the most ad more advanced version of it where we will use the subscriber options so that's basically something for being more than one subscriber that's using multi threading so little bit your concept will get things will get more complicated but this is the easiest version that i've explained right now if you want to add the ROS to your Gazebo plugin okay so that's it in this